Hey, hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing, taking the kayak out today. It's like almost one o'clock in the afternoon, 100 degree heat, no problem at all. <laughs> it's gonna be an outgoing tide until like six o'clock. The tide turned around at 11, so it's kind of a slow going tide, but I am loaded down in the kayak today, guys. I got my cast net, I brought my pinfish trap, I got some powdered chum over here, I got some mixed up chum to put in the pinfish trap. I got my big rod because I'm thinking about dropping the GoPro in a couple places just to see what's down there. And I got two fishing rods, I got my GoPro today, and I actually took time to hook up my Hummingbird Helix 5 fish finder. Yeah, I was hanging out at the house this morning. I decided to do a bunch of maintenance on the kayak. I had some numbers that needed to be replaced and I hadn't put dielectric grease on the connections and I actually hadn't used my fish finder in a while. So I went ahead and got that connected. I had to make a couple fixes on that and I had to pair a brand new remote control. Somehow my cast net caught on this back last time I went fishing and uh, I don't know guys, somehow it, it pulled this this top thing through the screw the back came off the batteries were exposed and i didn't know it and i got wet i ruined the remote control so i had to pair my remote control this morning but i got the kayak really really loaded down more than i normally would today and it's hot but it's sunday afternoon i didn't just want to sit around the house watching movies today kind of stir crazy so let's see if we can't go find us some fish and i forgot one very important thing it is against the law to be out there without a paddle. Yeah. Don't want to break down, right? All right, now we're legal. Let's go, baby, let's go. It's a beautiful Southwest Florida day. Oh yeah, it's cooking hot, you guys. It is burning up out here. I am definitely overloaded. Kind of going against my kayak fishing rule and that is keep it simple. Today I'm going more complex because I want to try and catch bait a couple different ways. Come on, you big old heavy monster. Best kayak in the world. Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. Got a 45 pound thrust integrated Minn Kota electric trolling motor. The kayak of all kayaks, so yeah. No motorized vessels here, so we're gonna paddle out. <laughs> Hi, let me get out of your way. Sorry. Yep, I didn't see her coming. It was a little bit windier today than I thought it was gonna be, but I do have a plan, so let's see if we can execute our plan here. I always forget to hook this little rope on the electric trolling motor. There we go. All right, let's give it a pull. There we go. Hopefully we'll have connection. Motor not found, okay make sure that's connected motor not found all right we'll jiggle this one ah there we go loose connection in the front and we have power uh oh it's not going anywhere this is not good ah motor not found again okay let's jiggle it jeepers creepers you get one thing fixed there it goes it was working at the house. There we go, baby. All right, guys, we are good to go. Seems like it's working fine. All right, well, let's see if we can go find some fish. See if we can go find some bait. I want to try and catch some little mahars again. I'll take little mahars or little pinfish, whatever. So we're going to head over to the Twin Bridges. And uh, there's some good flats over there. See if we can get some bait off of them. Turn this thing on, see if it's working. Come on, baby. Yeah. Hummingbird is humming, baby. I'm gonna put this thing on autopilot. Just head straight for those buildings. And then we'll change the view here. I like to have the double view like that. Holy smokes. The water is 90 degrees, guys. 90.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy buckets. And it is almost one o'clock, so. <laughs> Burning up out here. I mean, 90 degrees in the water. That means it's 105 out here. Don't you know it? I'm a blessed man, though, to be out here in an autopilot 120 on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. 
Let's cruise, baby. Make sure the rudder's down. Get my feet adjusted out here. Make sure we got turning, turning capabilities with our feet. All right. Let's go. So I've got some pre-mixed chum here. I made this at the house and uh, it's frozen. These shrimp, oh yeah. We'll just, why don't we just throw a couple, let's just throw a couple pieces of shrimp out there. We got some frozen shrimpies. See if we can start attracting some little fishies down here. Yep, yep, yep. Bunch of them right there already. Okay, so um, the way I make this, it's got oatmeal in it, Jack Mac. Um, I've got some squid in there and some shrimp. And also I had some Manhaden oil I mixed in with it. So, and I put a little bit of flour, a little bit of cornmeal in there to give it a, a paste. I don't know if you guys go to Goodwill very often, but I love to stop into Goodwill and see what they have. I got this pinfish trap right here from Goodwill. I got it cheap, like three years ago. I mean, really cheap. And then the other day, I brought it, bought a really nice backpack for fishing to replace the one that I got about three years ago that was worn out. I got a nice backpack for $5 at Goodwill. So, oh yeah, look at that. I don't think I'm going to need this whole big one. So I'm just going to start out putting this little one in there. And these are, this bag is just a, a laundry bag from the Dollar Tree. I got a couple weights in there. Need to know your laws from the FWC guys. Anytime you drop a trap out, you have to have a buoy on there uh, with an R on it, your address and phone number. We got some little minnows down here already. Just throw a little chum down there. Look at them. All right, so I stopped by Captain Todd's. I called him up today to see where he gets his fish chum. And he said, come on over. This is Purina fish chum. The dry version. See if I can scoop a little bit in here. All right, so now I just need to add a little bit of water this this mixture here stir that up good a little bit more whoa almost dropped it a little bit more like cookie dough consistency so you can just ball it up like that and throw it out there and just squeezing them into little balls so that they sink to the bottom Guys, we got some really good baits on that throw. Nice little pinfish. That might be a baby mutton. Eh, so-so throw. I can see them flashing in the net. And we got six or seven of them in that one. Good sized little pinfish. It's like perfect snappers, baits. Little guys are hanging out deeper. I'm leaving all this grass in here so they don't fall through my scupper holes. Nice little barrier. Good pinfish. That's that's the perfect snapper pinfish right there. Check the pinfish trap. I don't see anything flashing around in there, but maybe there's something in it. Hey, we got a couple of Maharas in there. Nice Mahara. Hey guys, got this little gag grouper on that throw, and we got some nice maharas. School of maharas came in, apparently. All right, 
I'm gonna take. We're, we're getting a pretty good amount of bait in there. Not bad. I think I'll throw maybe one more time, then we'll go check the pinfish trap and get out of here. <laughs> Hi, I'm burning up, guys. I am burning up. Okay. Yep. It's gotta be a gotta be 110 degrees out here. Holy bejeebies. Hey, we got a we got a good haul of pinfish in there. That's better. Got me some hot water. All right, let's go find some fish. And we really got some good baits. I am not superstitious at all. No way. Woohoo! Summertime heat, tear me up. All right, got a little crab. A little crab crawling around in here. All right, little guy. See ya. Oh man, it's a bunch of bait on this flat. So guys, I think it's been about three years now. I've had the autopilot, Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. The most versatile kayak out there, guys. I can fish in shallow water, deep water. I can fish the mangroves. I can fish the flats. I can fish the oyster bars. And I can fish deep water and spot lock. I can fish around docks. It's uh, an absolutely incredible fish catching machine. No doubt about it. current is just flying through here. Oh, honey. oh, I'm getting hit. Something just grabbed it right here. Something grabbed it right into the kayak. Yep, there we go. Fish on, little grouper. Hey, first fish of the day, little gag grouper. See ya! The kayak's doing pretty good on spot lock here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop another bait while I'm in the shade. There he is, there he is. Snapper time. Oh, grouper, another little grouper. Guess another little gag grouper. Thanks for the catch, little fella. See ya. All right, guys. I just, I moved from there over here by this floating dock, but snappers love floating docks, so. Dude, my line is way out here. I just cast. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Dude, oh, that's a good one. Dude, that's a freaking good one. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that man. Big old fat man, guys. Whoo! This guy hit a Mahara. 12 inch snapper. Heck yeah. A little over 12. Guys, I, I learned that when I used to fish around the jetties a lot in my kayak. Sometimes I'd pull up to those floating ducks like that and there'd just be a thousand little mangrove snapper hanging out around them. So let's see if we got another one. Oh, big keeper. But look at all the bait. All this bait's in here, man. Find the bait, find the fish. Now, I'm surprised they weren't over there, but I'm kind of not surprised the current, the current, because the current is flying through there. Here, the current's just barely moving. And uh, all right, let's try it again. <laughs> my plan is working he hit a mahara about like that all right we have made it it's been one year since i've been here a little over a year so i just got hammered on a pinfish. oh he hit that thing violent violent oh yeah we're gonna get him on the mahara i know they're up there that was a good hit i just had on a pinfish. that was a good hit we got good current flow moving through here. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't get hooked up here. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Dude, those are jacks. Busted off on that structure again. I'm gonna free line one up there and see what happens. Look at him, look at him, look at him. 
the heck are those? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He popped at it right on top of the water. Yep, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Little jacks, maybe? That's a good fish. I got a fighter. Mangrove snapper. Big man. Big mangrove snapper, dude. Heck yeah. The rad reef does not disappoint, baby. Woohoo! Dude, he was hitting that thing on top of the water like a jack. Whoa. Another 12 inch snapper. Snapper time. Nice. All right, I fished for about three more hours. The tide really slowed down. Yeah, that's my excuse. <laughs> I didn't catch any more fish. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!